is North Attleboro High School, the home of the Rocketeers. But tonight, the Brockton Boxes invade. It is playoff time. I live for this. Brockton High School versus North Attleboro High School. Second round of the playoffs, the Brockton Boxes look to control Attleboro totally as a region as they beat Attleboro High School two days ago and look to defeat North Attleboro. Definitely the Brockton Boxes first game came out dominating. Completely destroyed Attleboro High School by 26 points. You know what, guys? I could go through the records. I could go through the standings. But all that really doesn't matter during the playoff time. One and done, winner go home. The Brockton Boxes definitely have a lot of momentum going in here. Boxes have to fight, claw, scratch, and dig to get into the playoffs. And it was well worth it as they defeated Attleboro High School and looked to defeat North Attleboro High School. Brockton Boxes winning against Sandwich the last game of the regular season to sneak into the playoffs and look to create a lot of damage. Attleboro gets the tip. Out to number 14, Perrin, guarded by Jordan. Brockton Boxes in the road, black, Rocketeers in the white. Floater in the lane, gets it in. And she's all fired up, ready to go, number 22. Megan Ronigan, the captain. Here's Melton. Rocketeers starting off with a zone defense. Jordan swings it, Melton. Baseline just inside the three-point line, no good. Offensive board, no. McDuffie fighting for it. Possession now is towards the Red Rocketeers. Broughton Boxers need to push the basketball in today's game as the height advantage clearly goes to North Adderburn, boxes will have, will take possession of this jump ball. Possession that goes towards them. McDuffie kicking off the glass offensive board. Yes! Gets the roll. And that's what they brought the box need to do. Continue to attack the basket as the point guard parent slides it. Thinks about the three from the baseline. Yes! Sees the three. B's the three. Is one with the three. Five to two. Is Diaz deflected by number 22, Megan Ronigan for the Red Rocketeers. Last touch on North Attleboro, so boxer retreat possession. Dangerous pass, and that's the first turnover of the game for the boxers. With the floater, off the glass and in. Box is down by five, seven to two. Diaz swings it to Moore. Cross court pass to Melton. Melton looks for McDuffie, can't find her in the paint. Zone defense by the Red Rocketeers. In trouble, last touch on the boxes. 6.15 left in the first quarter. Box is down by five. Let's get Amnu Barato, Brittany Ock. All the action. Brock Community Access. Playoff basketball. Second round action. Cross court pass. Dangerous pass. Goes out of bounds. Good call by the ref. Boxes want to run and push the basketball. Here's Diaz. Almost another turnover. Dangerous pass. Recovers it, looking to go baseline to throw it out of bounds. That's the brought the box's second turnover. North Adderbro playing stifling defense, especially on the perimeter, and going towards the baseline. Forcing the brought the box to shoot from the outside. Coach April Dingwell saying, guys, calm down. 72 boxes down by five. Oh, what a curl, what a move. Nine to two. More. Jordan launches three, no good. Fox is in trouble right now. Oh, what a pass. Here come the boxes. They have numbers that they run. 
Diaz to the basket, gets rejected. Last touch on the boxes. Here's Perrin, guarded by Jordan. Swings it in the inside, stolen by Jordan. And just throws out of bounds, can't have those turnovers. Third turnover for the boxers, it's only the first quarter. Timeout called by April Dingle. Good timeout right here, right on the troops. Brock the boxers right now, coming out. A few turnovers, need to take it easy, play their basketball. Push the ball, play confident, cool, calm, collected in the whole nine. Box is down nine to two with 4.53 left in the first quarter. Box is defeating Atterborough High School convincingly by 26 points to be in his position. Box is defeated Sandwich to have a 500 record to even qualify for the playoffs. So the Brockton Boxes are used to fighting. They're used to clawing. They're used to digging, and that's what they need to do today. 434 left in the first quarter, 9 to 2. Moore, Diaz, McDuffie, Jordan, and Melton on the floor. Red Rocketeers are inbound the ball. Stone by Diaz to the baseline, kicking off the glass. Jordan with the board. Boxes looking to push the ball. Out to Diaz. There's McDuffie. Swings it to Moore. Diaz launches. Kick it off the board. Offensive board, Jordan. No good. Offensive board, yes. Stolen again by the boxes. Here's Diaz. Boxes have numbers, three on three on four. Check that, four on three. Nevertheless, boxes with the turnover. Red Rock here is on the other side, puts it in for two. Megan Ronigan, this captain for the Red Rocketeers. Here's Moore, gets rejected. Just runs into a brick wall. Melton, looking to push the ball. Going right down Main Street. No good. Boxes need to convert on those. Easy bucket on the side. The Brockton Boxers not getting back on treasures in defense. 13 to 4. 330 left in the first quarter. Cross-court pass, dangerous. Jordan launches three, no good. In the inside. Gets rejected. Here's Melton. Melton to the basket. Foul on the floor. We apologize for the boat action here. We just have to adjust our camera to uh, accommodate for Attleboro access, our counterparts. So 13 of four, boxers down by nine with 2.53 left in the first quarter. And a traveling violation caught on Diaz. In the paint, guarded by Dominique. Oh, what a move. What a move right there. Showing shades of Akeem the Dream Olajuwon. 15 to four, boxes down by 11. Boxes got to fight right now. This is a dangerous time. 
They don't want to get behind too quickly in this game. They got to keep this game close. 4-3, no good. Offensive board, Melton puts it up, gets fouled. Decided hot advantage here that the Red Rocketeers have on the Brockton boxes. 2-12 left in the first quarter. Boxes down by 11. First free throw, perfect. <laughs> Chanel Melton. Exciting time for Brockton Boxer Sports as uh, we have uh, the hockey team playing Hingham. And tomorrow we have boys basketball at Marshfield. So, uh, very exciting time to be a Brockton Boxer fan. Second free throw is perfect. 15 to 6, 2-12 left in the first quarter. Moore takes a seat for the boxes. Good no call right there by the ref. Jordan swings it to Melton. Zone defense being played by the Red Rocketeers. Melton can't get an offensive board. Yes! 15 to 7. Box is down by 7. 15 to 8, excuse me. Box is down by 7. To the basket. No good. Here come the boxers. They have numbers. McDuffie in trouble. Goes out of bounds. McDuffie has to give up that basketball. Give it to the point guard. No good. Here's Diaz. McDuffie, wide open three, launches, no good. Offensive board, fighting for it. McDuffie, good hustle. Saves it, Red Rockets have the ball, they have numbers. Here they go, cross court, off the glass and in. 17 to eight, just under a minute left in the first quarter. Here's Melton. Melton, floater, gets rejected, gets on board, puts it up, gets fouled. That's the fight that you need right there by the Brockton Boxes. Got a claw, dig, fight, scratch. And they're gonna call, you know, check that, as I say that, turnover on the boxes. I thought that was a foul. Never alone, good hustle by Melton. Launches, long two, yes. Football's on the line, they're gonna count it to two. 19 to eight, shot clock turned off. Check that, but a one second differential. McDuffie, no good, offensive board. 10 on the game clock. Five, four, three, two, bounce pass, off the glass, yes! What a pass! 19 and 10, boxes down by nine. Could have been a lot worse. Good job, but it brought the boxes weathering that storm. As at one point, they're down 15 to four. And it looked like uh, the Red Rocketeers are really going to take it over and dominate. But good job, but it brought the boxes weathering the storm. So that's your score, 19 to 10. Boxes down by nine. Once again, I'm Nubi Red Toe, calling the game solo today. BCA action, wherever the Brockton Box is going to playoffs, we will be there too. The Box is playing the moon, then darn it, we go into the moon too. Box's last game against Adderbro, complete domination. Different story in today's game, but hey, no one said the playoffs were going to be easy. Win or go home. Boxes right now are entering a 15-round battle between the Red Rocketeers. I gotta tell you what, it is quite a troop to get here from Brockton. On my GPS, 
you know, we're going to North Attleboro. My GPS takes me to a farm. And it says you've reached your destination. So it's been a long trip to North Attleboro, but we want to make it well worth it. Almost another steal by the boxes. Foul on the shot. Number 24 go to the line for the Red Rocketeers. Allison McHugh, the junior. You know, surprisingly a quiet crowd here for a home game for North Attleboro. First free throw's no good. Second free throw's perfect. Double digit lead, 20 to 10. Box is down by 10. Another turnover for the boxes. Blows the layup, too hard. Here's more. Boxes have numbers, four on two if they push it. Another turnover. The Broughton box right now is shooting themselves in the foot. Have to be more careful handling the ball on the offensive side. Down the baseline. Swings it. Launches three. No good. Boxes at the board. Boxes looking to push the ball. More slowing things down, though. Here's Melton. Melton on the baseline. Melton in trouble. Looks to pass it to McDuffie. Goes out a Red Rocketeer and go out of bounds. Boxes will have the ball. Jordan launches, yes. 20 to 12. To the basket, loses the ball. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. That might have been all ball. I'm not so sure about that. Two shots by number 23, Melissa Bropree. Hoping I'm pronouncing that right. First free throw is good. 648 left in the first half. Box is down by nine. 21 to 12. Second free throw's perfect. <laughs> Foul on uh, Sarah Beth Perrin, the co-captain. I gotta tell you what, the Broughton box is right now just careless passing the basketball, I mean, Two and eight turnovers right there for the boxes. I mean, almost a turnover right there. Red Rocket here still in that zone, daring the box to shoot from the perimeter. Cross court pass to the basket. Foul on Diaz. Free throws, no good. Packed house here in Kenneth Pickering Gymnasium. Gymaz Gymaz Say that five times. Jordan from the baseline. No good. Offensive board, jump ball, possession house towards the boxers. I could have sworn it was the Red Rocketeers. Evidently, I'm wrong. And another steal. And another blown layup. Offensive board. Blown again! No. 
in the Brockton box right now. They got to be very careful. I mean, they're having ample opportunities to get back into this game. If you want to get back to the game, you got to be careful of turnovers. I mean, just careless passing ball out of bounds. You know, you got to watch out. North Alabama is doing a fantastic job clogging up the passing lanes. You got to accommodate for that. So, 22 to 12, box is down by 10 with 555. Make a wish right there, 555 in the first half. I'll tell you what, Brockton boxes tomorrow face Marshfield. Very exciting game. Hopefully the Brockton boxes can do what the Lady Boxes did in their first round and defeat their opponent handily. Coach April Dingwell just kind of trying to rally the troops. Boxes want to push this to about bring this deficit down, excuse me, to about maybe, you know, five or six points going to halftime. Boxes just want to keep this game, keep this game close going to the fourth quarter. Just keep it close. And another turnover for the boxes. Traveling violation. I got to tell you what. They brought the boxers are having ample opportunity served up on a poo poo platter to get back into this game. They have to take advantage. Because they'll look back on this and say, you know what, we didn't take advantage of this time in the second quarter. Great passing. Puts it up. No foul called. And she was assaulted in the paint. And poetic justice, a turnover for North Atterborough. Honest to gosh. And uh, you know, I gotta tell you what, this stifling zone defense is really giving the boxers trouble right now. Red Rocketeers doing a good job clogging up those passes. They didn't call a traveling violation. Good call by the ref right there. Five eleven boxes down by ten. Both teams struggling on offense right now. And another turnover. Boxes right now cannot buy a possession with the. With good interior passing. Puts in the easy two, boxes down by 12. Diaz to the basket. And she'll go to the line for two. That's what the boxes need to do right now is attack the basket. Free throws no good. You know, right now it's gut check time for the Broughton boxes. It's gut check time. You know, the, the turnovers, the missed opportunities getting back to the game. This is their time right now. These next four minutes are crucial for the Broughton boxes going to halftime. Second free throw is good. Wide open three, bullseye, bullseye. 27-13. Diaz thought about the three. To the basket. Turnover by the Broughton Boxes.
Another foul on the boxes. That's five team fouls. Stolen. Last touch show on Diaz. Good hustle. Three. No good. There's more. Baseline, Melton, in trouble. Two, three zone. They're playing into a science right now. Gets a screen. Diaz, Melton, long two, no good. Easy two right there. North Vatterbro pulling away up by 14, 29 to 13. Up by 16, excuse me. Boxes right now need to be careful. This game could get away from them if they don't have defensive stands and good offensive possessions. Boxes down by 16. 29 13 with 307 left in the first half. Good timeout right here called by April Dingwell. This is a crucial point in the game where they can't let the game get away from them. The next three minutes, defensive stops, good offensive possessions. Both teams struggling offensively, but it looks like the Red Rocketeers are finally getting out of that drought. For the Brockton Boxers right now, just ample, ample turnovers. The newbie research team will find out the number of turnovers during halftime. But um, it's got to be upwards around 10 plus turnovers for the Brockton Boxers. And that's really what's been the Achilles heel in, in this first half. Heroin on the ball for the Red Rocketeers. With the floater, no good. Boss is doing a good job on the board so far. Got to get good offensive possessions. Melton thought about the three. More launches, no good. And called over the back foul. More women on the ball. Jordan gets rejected. Rebound, puts it up. Oh, Mr. Bunny, another board. Gets fouled, oh. Those are lollipops right there. You gotta make those in. Aaliyah Burrito will go to the line though for two free throws. You know, brought the box on. Look at their roster. I mean, such a young team. First free throw is good. Second free throw, no good. Melton finding for the board, can't get it. Box is down by 15. 2.30 left in the first half. Another steal. Oh, they're going to call that. It should be a no call right there. That's a bunch of baloney. Oh, that's a crock of garbage. I take that back. It is a, it is a call on the Red Rocketeers. That is a very good call. 
That is a very good call. <laughs> That is an excellent call. <laughs> Can't make the front end on the one-on-one. -on -one. Jump ball, possession out towards the Red Rocketeers. Two twenty left in the first half. In trouble. Stolen by Jordan. Oh, what a rejection. Rebound, no. Oh, what great defense right there by the Red Rocketeers from the elbow. Can't get in the road. Diaz puts it up. Gets fouled. Oh, what a move. What a great defensive stance right there by the Red Rocketeers. Showing shades of LeBron James with his famous chasing people down and rejecting off the backboard. Box right now, just making a parade to the free throw line. This is where they can make their damage right now. Can't convert on the free throw. And Chantel Jordan gets Diaz, you know, keep your head up. Let's keep fighting, because we're in a fight right now. Second free throw, perfect. Another steal by the boxers. Mel two with the floater. No. Offensive board. No. Offensive board again, Jordan. No. Boxers are getting ample opportunities on the boards right now. Launches three. Not even close. Here's more. McDuffie launches. No good. I don't like that shot right there. I like McDuffie going to the basket. Box is fortunate to get the ball back. 113 left in the first half. Box is down by 14. 29 15. Another offensive board brought the boxes right now. And opportunity and a traveling violation. Get out of here. Get out of here. Melton, good deflection. Brothen Box's defense has gone up to a whole new stratosphere right now. However, not clicking offensively. Launches for three. Bullseye, right between the eyes. 32 to 17. Red Rocketeers up by 17. 32 to 15, excuse me. They're up by 17. <laughs> 40 seconds left in the half. Melton in trouble. Jump ball. Possession now is towards the boxes. 35 seconds left. 32 to 15. Five on the shot clock. Jordan launches from Santa Monica. No good. Another three from the baseline. Offensive board. Puts it up. Oh, wow. A homer running right through a glass shop. Three, two, more. No, halftime, 34-15. Dominant half by the Red Rocketeers. Brockton boxes and opportunities. Numerous turnovers. 
The good thing about basketball, we have another half to play. We'll see you in the second half after these messages. Oh, those boys are much too much. Those boys are much too much. We got the spirit. We're hot. We can't be stopped. We got the spirit. We're hot. We can't be stopped. We're going to beat them and bust them. Beat them. Smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Let's get a little bit rowdy. R-O-W-D-Y. Take time to be a dad today. All those boys are much too much. Those boys. Yeah, and welcome back to the second half. Playoff basketball action. I'm Nubri Atto. Red Rocketeers versus the Brockton Box. The Red Rocketeers are up 35 to 15. Dominant half for North Attleboro. Turnovers were the story for the boxes in the first half. Another three. No good. Here come the boxes on the go. Stolen by the Red Rocketeers. Good job going to the basket right there. Very fundamentally sound team, Red Rocketeers. Melton misses from point blank range. Offensive ball by McDuffie. Oh, wow. What a move right there. 38 to 17. No good. Another turnover. Jordan recovers it though. Diving for the ball. Diaz to the ground. Everyone to the ground. Here's Melton. Diaz for three. No good. Jordan puts it up. Can't complete the three point play, but shoot with the line for two free throws. Box is down by 21, 38 to 17. Free throw's good. Second free throw is no good. Another turnover. It's Perrin with the ball. For the Red Rocketeers, guarded by Jordan. to the basket. No good. Offensive board gets fouled. Absolutely dominant right there. Number 23, Melissa Brupri. Forward. She's only a sophomore for crush sake. Unbelievable. First week uh, from Rimsit. Elia Brito comes to the game for the boxes. Oh, 
going right to the basket. Yes, right down the lane, right down central lane right there. Box is down by 18. Traveling violation. Silvermore. Top of Katie Diaz. Elia Burrito can't get it in. Traveling violation, good call right there. Boxers have a, you know, have a punch of chance right now to get back to this game if they keep clawing because North Attleboro is definitely, um, you know, shooting themselves in the foot right here with a few turnovers. Good call, timeout called here by the coach. 38 to 20 with 449 left in the third quarter. Once again, playoff action. Win or go home, Broad Community Access will cover all playoffs. All playoff action for men's and women's Brockton boxer action. We will be in Marshfield tomorrow. Miles Jackson and Peter Zimbo have the call. Thirty-eight to twenty. Boxes down by eighteen. More for three. They needed that one. Score pass, launches three, off the glass and in. Red Rocketeers up by 21 again. Melton, no good. Burrito diving for the ball. There's more. To Diaz. Diaz loses the ball again. Another three, no good. Over the back on the Red Rocketeers. So now Melton will shake it up. She'll walk it off. And I don't know where that pass is going. Goes out of bounds. Saves an inbounds. Diaz fighting for the ball. Good hustle. Diaz just gets up and uh And as uh, she gets up, she takes someone down. <laughs> Floater. No good. Out of bounds, last touch on the boxes. Baseline, that's bounce pass. Jump ball, possession arrows towards 
Looks like that was towards the boxers, I believe. No, check that, Red Rocketeers. So three minutes left in the third quarter. Boxers down by 21 now. Dominique Coley comes to the game. And boxers right now got to keep their composure. Follow on the Red Rocketeers, number 15. You know, I, the Ox are just playing about seven players in the playoffs right now. So um, players got to be a little winded right now. Looks like uh, Coach April Dingwell is having about seven or eight man rotation. 246 left, boxes down 41 to 20. 246 left in the third quarter. What a pass. Counted and the foul. Box right now got to get this to about 12 points going into the fourth quarter to have a, to have a puncher's chance. Twenty three to forty one. Box is down by 18. Cross court pass. Launches a three. Woo! When it rains, it pours. Right back up by 21. Like Duffy to the basket. No. I like that Cole is into the game. A little bit of height. For the boxers. That seems to be a boxer's Achilles heels. You know, it's just, you know, boxers seem a little undersized right now. Height advantage definitely towards North Outerboro. Jordan misses the three, rebounded by Melton. Box this whole game doing a good job on second chance opportunities. Kids can't convert. And a foul on the River Rocketeers on uh, Megan Ronigan. Jordan, another three, no good. Cole is the offensive board, fighting for it. One seventeen left in the third quarter. Box right now, just having a tough time on offense. No good. Melted at the board. Silver Moore can't get off the glass. Box right now cannot buy a basket. 44 23. Good defense played by Jordan. Jordan's been playing hard the whole game. I mean, just stifling defense by uh, Chantel Jordan. Game right now getting away for the box. Down by 23. 46 to 23. Coley launches. 
No good. McDuffie, offensive board, puts it up. No good. Boxes right now, getting the position. Getting the shots, just can't convert. Three seconds left. McDuffie launches. And that's a, that's a third quarter right there. Complete domination by North Atterborough. Just complete domination. 46 to 23, boxes down. And um, eight more minutes possibly for their season. It's gut check time right now for the Broughton Boxers. How do you want to go out? You want to go out fighting, which I think the Broughton Boxers will do. And they'll continue to fight this fourth quarter. Key thing for the Broughton Boxers, keep your composure. Don't look at the score and continue to fight. But I got to tell you what, give credit to North Outerbro. Just one heck of a ball game, just from start to finish. But again, like I said in the first half, the Brockton boxes, what got them was turnovers in the first half. Boxes had ample opportunity to get into this game and really make it competitive going to the second half. It's too many turnovers, let the game get away, and the rest might be history. Duffy, yes. Right back by the Red Rocketeers. Diaz for three, no good. Offensive board, jump ball, possession house towards North Atterboro. Dangerous pass, turnover, intercepted by Melton. Shelving violation on Chanel Melton. Nice pass. Timeout called. Good timeout right here by uh by North Data, bro. 48-27. Box is down by 21. 655 left in the game. After this next whistle, Burrito come into the game for the boxes. So brought the box coming to this game, 11 and 10, crushing out of bro by 26, but can't get past North out of bro. So it seems, unless a miracle comeback is in the works, which we'll probably see on Sports Center if that happens. To the basket, oh, counted in 
the foul. Pretty good team we got here. <laughs> I gotta tell you what, this whole game, the no doubt about fans have been pretty quiet. Is it just me? I mean, your team's up by 24 points, and it's just, I can hear my, I can hear my voice echo. Another three. No good. Offensive board. Traveling violation. Diaz bounce pass. No good. Jordan. No good. Jordan again. Yes. I'll tell you what, you want to talk about game ball? Chantel Jordan. I mean, a senior just, just playing her heart out. Unbelievable. Chantel Jordan's had one heck of a game. Are they falling intentionally? It's rebound. Out of bounds. McDuffie coming to the game. She's coming for Diaz. Oh, what a great baseball pass! Oh, what a pass! You want to talk about fundamentals? Fundamental rule, section five, ordinance 2.115. What a great baseball pass. Right down the lane. Out of bounds. Brock the box will have the ball. McDuffie launches bullseye. Five minutes left in the game. Box is down by 19. Jordan, no good. And the box right now, they're winded. I mean, They've played about their, 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 it's a seven man rotation. And pretty much everyone's played the whole game. They just seem really winded and tired. Played their hearts out today. Melton puts it up, gets fouled.
Small chances. Want to thank our production crew, Aaron T. Boss. <laughs> Two man crew here today, I mean, and Aaron. Miles Jackson and Peter Zim will be back for the boys' game. McDuffie right down Main Street. Boxes down by 15. Timeout call. Gotta, gotta enjoy the fight. Gotta enjoy the fight right now, but it brought the boxes, making a little run. 356 left in the game. Boxes down 53 to 38. I'm New at home. Bring you all the action. We are in North Attleboro. I guess they call this place the, the Big Red or the Red machine, something of that nature. <laughs> but definitely a dominant performance here so far by the Rocketeers. Three fifty six left in the game. Box is down by fifteen. Do they have a run left in them with just under four minutes left? We'll find out real quick. Box is put on the press. Right down the lane and then. Melted the floater, gets rejected. Oh, wow, miscommunication right there by the boxes. Goes right down the lane, puts it up for the easy two. Moore looking to go right down Main Street, loses the ball. Launches, no good. Get a look at a, a new player, number 14, Nadia Montero, the freshman, comes to the game for the boxes. Melton, no good. <laughs> so one-on-one -on -one situation here for the Red Rocketeers 240 left boxes down by 19 next BCA game will be in Marshfield as we will head down there and see the uh, men's basketball team face Marshall. Jordan misses it. Oh, great hustle right there. Kick it off the board. Another offensive board by the boxes. Jordan. Lose the ball 
check that's gonna be a foul so she'll go at the line for two free throws Chantel Jordan what a heck of a ball game today I mean talking about stifling defense the whole game just excellent excellent great hustle outstanding defense just you know shots gonna fall on the offensive side but you know everyone has one of those days unfortunately that day was actually in the playoff game but um just uh, boxes had the shots. Just, just couldn't make the shots. Just, you know, just have one of those days where the shots are not falling. Off the glass and in. Bounce pass down the lane and in. 63 38. McDuffie, no go with the three. 130 left in the game. So, our chances want to shout out the seniors. Fantastic season. Chanel Melton. <laughs> Chanel Melton, a senior. Good to Chanel in her future endeavors. Senior Chantel Jordan. Senior Christian McDuffie. Brought the boxes definitely have a very bright future ahead of them. Both fruit those no good. McDuffie off the glass, no good. Still fighting. No good. Box is still fighting. Look at the fight by the Brockton Box. This is beautiful. Box is still fighting right to the end. Just one of those days the Box just can't. Couldn't get a shot. I mean, just, just, just couldn't put the ball in the basket. That's what it comes down to. Couldn't put the ball in the basket. They got the shots that they wanted. Too many turnovers. Just, uh, just one of those games. Stolen by the boxes. Up and in. Right now, um, April Dingwell empties the bench. No stars in the game except for Silver Moore. Just under 20 seconds left in the game. Stolen by Moore. I got to tell you, this team has a really, really bright future next year. I'm really excited. 
for Brockton Boxer Bass for the next few years. What a season by the Broughton Boxers. All good things must come to an end. See you in Marshfield. Um, Broughton Boxers, just one hell of a season. Um, you know, just fighting their way to the playoffs. Shout out to the seniors, McDuffie, Melton, and Jordan. Um, one heck of a ball game. Fantastic game by the Broughton Boxers, but they lose today, and their season is over. 63 to 42 boxers are defeated and eliminated in this game. For everyone from Box Community Access, I'm Lou Barretto. We'll see you at the finish line.